diversity is a core value at the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation because we make a commitment to take on the complex, important challenges facing health and health care for all Americans. And to do that, you need to be able to look at these problems from a whole variety of perspectives. And the only way that you're going to get that broad array of perspectives is to have a diverse set of researchers, clinicians, and others engaged in the pursuit of the solutions. So that's why we're so focused on diversity here at the Foundation. One of the goals that we've had for a long time here at the Foundation is to increase the diversity of our fellowship programs. And, and I think we've made a lot of progress, but we need to do a lot more because our workforce just isn't very diverse. 9% of nurses are people of color, 12% of dentists, 15% of physicians. As a nation, we have to do better, and as a foundation, we have to do better. And that's why we're launching this new program, Imagine Tomorrow, The Future Begins Today, because we know we have to increase the diversity of all of our fellowship programs and scholarship programs if we're going to meet that challenge for the nation. When I was a little girl, the civil rights movement was in full force. And I can remember being at a march where one of the pastors said, don't be afraid to get your feet wet for freedom. And that stuck with me because to me, that means don't be afraid to get out of your comfort zone, to take some risk, to apply for a fellowship that you think is just beyond your reach, or to change your career trajectory and, and do a mid-career fellowship, or to, if you're the program director, look in new and creative places for the best candidates for our fellowships. We can't be afraid to get our feet wet, wet for freedom. We can't be afraid to get out of our comfort zone because that's what's going to make us a more productive and diverse population.